attachments and some relations of the lumbar vertebra. Starting on with the body, the upper and lower surfaces, they are in contact with the intervertebral discs. The upper surface of the body and the lower surface of the body are in contact with the intervertebral discs. The upper and lower borders, these are the upper borders, the anterior and posterior surfaces. These are the lower borders. This is the lower border of the anterior surface and this is the lower border of the posterior surface. They provide attachment to anterior longitudinal ligament and the posterior longitudinal ligament. Lateral to the anterior longitudinal ligament. On the upper three lumbar vertebra, that is first, second and third lumbar vertebrae, the right crust of diaphragm is attached to the upper borders. The left cross of the diaphragm is attached to the first and second lumbar vertebrae on the anterior border and laterally to the anterior longitudinal ligament. Behind the line of the crura, the cross they attach laterally and behind this, all the lumbar vertebrae, they provide origin to the psoas major muscle. Behind the crura, all the lumbar vertebrae, they provide attachment to psoas major muscle. It is attached to both the upper and the lower borders, providing origin to the psoas major muscle. The part of the vertebral canal that is formed by the foramen of the first lumbar vertebra, it contains corna medullaris, whereas the canal that is formed by the foramen of the lower four vertebrae that is from L2 to L5 they contain corda equina. The foramen of the lumbar vertebrae they contain spinal cord and the meninges that cover the spinal cord. The pedicles they are related to the spinal nerves above and below. The laminae, the superior part of the laminae and the lower parts of the laminae they contain ligamentum flava the spine of the lumbar vertebra it provides attachment to the posterior layer of the lumbar fascia it provides attachment to the interspinous and supraspinous ligaments it also provides attachment to muscles such as erector spinae multifidus and interspinous muscles the tip of all the transverse processes of the lumbar vertebrae, they provide attachment to the middle layer of the lumbar fascia. In addition, the first transverse process or the tip of the first transverse process, that is the transverse process of the first lumbar vertebra, it provides attachment to the medial and lateral arcuate ligaments, the medial and arcuate ligaments, whereas the tip of the fifth transverse process, that is the transverse process of the fifth lumbar vertebra, it provides attachment to the iliolumbar ligaments. The tip of the fifth transverse processes, they provide attachment to the iliolumbar ligaments. On the anterior surface of the transverse process of the lumbar vertebra, this is the anterior surface. And this is the posterior surface of the transverse process. So on the anterior surface, there is a faint ridge. This ridge, it provides attachment to the anterior layer of the lumbar fascia. The anterior layer of the lumbar fascia is attached to the ridge on the anterior surface of the transverse process. Now, medially to the fascia, there is origin for psoas major muscle. Whereas lateral to the fascia is the attachment site or the origin of quadratus lumborum muscle. Quadratus lumborum muscle originates on the lateral side of the fascia on the anterior surface of the transverse process. On the posterior surface, 
This surface it is covered by deep muscles of the back and it gives origin to the fibers of longissimus thoracis. As mentioned in the previous video, this is the accessory process. In this accessory process, it provides attachment to the medial intertransverse muscle. The medial intertransverse muscle is attached to the accessory process on the posterior surface of the transverse process of lumbar vertebra. The upper borders and the lower borders. These are the upper borders and the lower borders. They provide attachment to the lateral intertransverse muscle. The lateral intertransverse muscles, they are attached to the upper and lower borders of the transverse process of the lumbar vertebra. These are the superior articular facets of the lumbar vertebra. They are concave and they provide some rotation as well as flexion and extension. These are the inferior articular facets with convex oval facets medially. The superior articular processes, they have an elevation on the posterior region of the oval facets which are termed as the mammillary processes. These process, the mammillary process, they provide attachment to the multifidus muscle and to the medial intertransverse muscle. The multifidus muscle and the medial intertransverse muscles, they are attached to the mammillary process of the superior articular processes of the lumbar vertebra. <laughs>